I've recently started learning about uh, Next.js. One of the really good qualities of this framework is that it does server-side rendering out of the box. Uh, one of the challenges I've come across is that it renders uh, the page on the server and then it serves it to the, the client, uh, but sometimes the you want to use client-side styling. Uh, for example, if you have a look in this code snippet, I'm using Bootstrap um, and putting that in the head of the page, which styles the content when the client loads the page, uh, not on the server. So what that means is if you have a look at the this example, it's a, a button with a font or some icon and it's got some delete uh, button text in there. And uh, in this example, if you hit the reload button of the page, uh, you notice that the trash icon is just really large when it first loads and then it comes back to being uh, the correct size. So when you inspect that icon, if you have a look here, the SVG icon should be uh, 14 pixels high and 12.25 uh, wide. So you want, when the server renders the style, you want that style information to be there before it comes to the client so the client doesn't uh, have a really big icon and then it comes back to, to a small one. Uh, so to do that I've got two different methods you can use. Uh, this method here is just wrap it in a the font awesome icon, wrap it in a div um, and as you can see there, I've just specified height as 14 pixels and display as inline block. Uh, if you don't just put display inline block, uh, what will happen is that the delete button will have uh, the icon wrapped. So you just put that back in and as you can see, it's uh, the right thing. Now that one's good because it, it basically just uh, on reload, it, it it does what you expect it to. The other option is to use JSX styling, uh, which is the recommended uh, styling uh, way that Next.js does things. So just plonk some, I suppose we can do it up here, plonk some styling information in there, just format it again, um, and and then try again, and in this case, for some reason, it just skips a bit, like the icon appears to jump on a reload, but it still doesn't flash a large content, a large trash icon, uh, so it's a, a good workaround as well. Notice within uh, this styling, the button is just, hasn't got a global tag wrapping it. And the reason for that is the JSX uh, can apply the style, if you have a look at the button, if you have a look at the button, the JSX uh, can apply a style to the, the button, but it can't apply a style class to the SVG because it's generated by the, the component, the font awesome icon component. So you need to say to the uh, JSX style tag uh, that it needs to be global or it doesn't have ha shouldn't have a custom um, a custom wrapping so you notice here what it generates is you've got the button with this custom styling tag uh, styling class but the SVG because it's been declared as global um, doesn't have any JSX st styling class attached to it uh, so that gives you the 
the right um, the option there that, that you need.